Stockers. This is Joe Walsh from HVStock.net. I am up at MoMA Film tonight to see uh, the kickoff of a brand new retrospective up here. They're doing a retrospective tonight. For, it's going to go on for three weeks, but a retrospective of the famous Japanese filmmaker Tomu Uchida, to which you might respond, who? Exactly. And that was my first reaction when I heard the name too. Now, a three week retrospective, this is somebody important that I had never heard of. Now granted, my I love Japanese cinema. Japanese cinema is one of my favorite world cinemas, one of my favorite aspects of world cinema. It's, it was one of my gateway drugs to world cinema, actually, as it was for the world. I mean, Akira Kurosawa was Rashomon in 1950. Sort of set the stage for world cinema in the 50s and beyond. It was one of the first breakout movies to expose larger culture to a smaller culture of filmmaking. Uh, again, like everybody was affected by Hollywood filmmaking, but Maybe not everybody in France got to see Japanese films. Maybe not everybody in Britain got to see Brazilian filmmaking. So, like, that was the beginning of the doors opening up and the circuit being created. Now, granted, my knowledge of Japanese films sort of stalls at Kurosawa, Mizuguchi, and Ozu, the three, you know, great granddaddies of Japanese filmmaking. I know a smattering of Saijun Suzuki and Toshigahara and, you know, Shiro Honda and Godzilla. But, um... Tomu Uchida. I had no idea who this person was, so I, you know, thank, thankfully, MoMA provides some film notes, and there is Wikipedia. So I looked into the man, and uh, he was primarily employed by Nikatsu Studio, which is one of the big three, uh, Toho being the big one. Um, and his career uh, sort of spans the same era as, uh, as Ozu and Mizuguchi. He began in the late silent period and went through the talkies into all the way up until the late 60s, he worked forever. Uh, he, he actually had a 10-year pause in his career when he was a prisoner in Manchuria during the war. So, you know, take that Kurosawa and Mizuguchi. Can't top that, can you? Um, but apparently he worked in every genre. He seems to be somewhere along the lines of, maybe, I don't know, maybe he's being critically reassessed now and he's being considered an auteur in his own right. He seems to be somewhere, though, in the non-auteur region of, say, a Michael Curtis, somebody who worked in every genre, seemingly successful in every genre of, you know, Japanese filmmaking, and cross genre, genres that are familiar to, to all world cultures. Uh, he made uh, what they call the Jidageki films, the uh, period films, samurai films, uh, and then the smaller subset, the uh, Chambara films, which are, you know, mostly like the action samurai films. He made social dramas, he made melodramas, he made, uh, he seemed to have done it all, gangster films, comedies. So they're kicking it off tonight with a movie called uh, Killing in Yoshiwara. Uh, which is about a silk merchant in the aforementioned village or town or, you know, Yoshiwara, I don't know. If you've been to Yoshiwara, please contact me and tell me if it's a town or a city. Uh, this man is very well esteemed. He does a very uh, prosperous business, but he can't get any of the geishas to bat an eye at him until one of them seeking to establish herself socially and to, you know, to kind of feed off his doubt takes advantage of him. And based on the title alone, I can imagine that no good comes from her plan. But uh, but anyway, it's going to kick off at 7 o'clock. Uh, the series goes on. There's something like 20 films in the series, maybe more. But go to Momo's website and check it out. It's Tomo Uchida. Uh, it's, it's, it's an opportunity to discover somebody that I've, never, I've certainly never heard of before. And it's going to be a great opportunity to compare him and contrast him with, say, Kurosawa, Mizuguchi Ozu, and again, Tishikahara, and the others that I've become familiar with. This is a really, uh, it's a really exciting uh, opportunity for me. I'm really looking forward to the prospect of exploring this new filmmaker. So anyway, I'm going to get ready to go and grab my seat at MoMA Film. Uh, as always, I'll be back after the film to give you my two cents about the movie. And as always, follow me on Facebook, and Twitter, and Instagram. Sold at 34. Uh, and be sure to spread the word about my new Nitrate Stock TV channel, this here YouTube channel. Which some of you thought I'd give up after. Some of you thought I'd give up after one day. Maybe I have. Maybe that stutter was just me giving up just now. Maybe I should just give up. Um, but I'm still here, you bastards, to quote Papillon. So, uh... I'm going to watch the movie, I'm going to come back in a couple of hours, give my assessment on it, and uh, signing off for now, but as always, stick with me, stalkers.